Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. A reading from Ephesians. Now this I affirm and insist on in the Lord. You must no longer live as the Gentiles live, in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance and hardness of heart. They have lost all sensitivity and have abandoned themselves to licentiousness, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. That is not the way you learned Christ, for surely you have heard about him and were taught in him as truth is in Jesus. You were taught to put away your former way of life, your old self, corrupt and deluded by its lusts, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to clothe yourselves with the new self, created according to the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. You have been born anew. 
through the living and abiding word of God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others for the ministry of St. Mark's Ark, for the communion of faith in your church. Friends, for what else are we thankful? Merciful God of might, renew this weary world Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world. 
for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for Daniel, our pastor, Pedro, our bishop, and Elizabeth, our presiding bishop, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. Friends, for what else shall we pray? Finally, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.